Glare is not too bad. Starting Vanguard is the new G starting Vanguard for Great Nature because it's amazing. <laughs> uh, if you don't know what it does, you uh, on hit at Generation Break 1, you boost the unit by 4,000, give it the skill at the end of turn, retire and draw a card. So it helps keep the massive draw engine this deck has going and skills and it does give extra four for pressure yeah so yeah four heals i run four ruler chameleons i actually do use this skill because if i just don't get boosters it's a pseudo booster and um if you have the 9k in front of it it's a 12k column when you use uh i mean not 12 it's a 16k column if you use something like the phoenix because the 9 plus 3 is 12 and then the 4 so yeah, it's a 16 column, which is pretty good. And you can, when it's retired, counterblast one, search another copy, so it's extra guard to your hand again. And it's pretty easy to send back triggers in this deck. So it's not really that bad to search out triggers. And then uh, four more hedgehog crits, and then two of the other two crits, just for aesthetics and mind games, but yeah. Basically, I do like the 12 crit. Draws are also an option because your early game is awkward and you might want rear guards. But at the same time, if you believe in the aggro of the 12 crit, it, it does usually come through. Yeah. And then for grade ones, I'm running 4G perfect guards. Half because I don't actually have um, cable sheep. But the other half is because... It is actually pretty nice to unflip damage, and the way you want to be playing this deck is you want to be retiring your front row every turn. Like, that's the ideal setup you want, because um, it combos really well with the break ride. I mean, the the Legion. Yeah, there's, uh, there's an utter lack of uh, things that punish you for using G perfect guards where we are, too, so it's nice to get the unflips. Uh... I'm running the four mini berry belly. I really actually really like his name change to belly. You basically want to be able to stride in this deck. It's it's the best way to get your engine just keep just to keep it rolling because you plus so hard off of it. Then there's the four duck bill, pretty standard, gets you a card when something's retired. An extra card anyway. And to round off my thirteen grade ones, right now I'm running one balloon raccoon. I do like the taping cat, but we don't have it yet. So for now, it's a balloon raccoon. Um, it is actually nice because it does have a secondary skill. So when you call it to rear guard and you sack it, you can actually get use out of it later too. But I like the taping cat because you can soul blast too. And if you ride the mate, it makes it easier to get out of soul. So you have another copy live. And then for the uh, grade twos, four of the mate, four of the researcher fox, because you need kind of need it for your legion, especially since it's a persona related legion, and it just makes some really good combos late game. The fact that you can stuff triggers back and search out the same rear guard you just killed to spam over and over again for free is pretty ridiculous. And then I run the four homskis. Um, me personally, I do like the fact that. You can just willy-nilly call it early game, but more so it's like when you go into the Phoenix and you can't commit too hard, uh, you can just call Homske Phoenix boost. It's a 12 by itself. It hits a pretty good number, and it is getting you more deck thinning because you can search out more copies of it when it gets retired. And the counter blasting isn't that heavy in this deck, so especially since you have unflipping, it's like worthwhile anyway. Cause the only other things we'll be using counter blast for or because uh well the crayon tigers they're the second thing you'd probably be counter blasting with because when you do counter blast for the mate but you usually get that back from the legion skill to unflip so it's not a big issue but yeah so crayon tiger there's only three of them i would run a fourth but i don't have one because people were keeping all their crayon tigers from sneak so just could not get that fourth so I'm running the Tapir in its place. Crayon Tiger, if you don't know what it does, it's pretty amazing. Uh, 
it's basically one of those G-brake one amber clones as people call it so when it's boosted uh, counter blast one you choose a rear guard give it plus 4,000 stand it and at the end of turn retire it and draw a card well draw and then retire but yeah so basically the combo is really well with getting your retire skills off and just drawing cards for a one for one advantage but then you can stack that with other skills to make it more than a one for one advantage yeah that's half of the reason why it's there and the attack extensions is really great especially when you use the monog armor it's best for that turn because multi-attacking and potentially more uh, glory maelstrom rear guard effects are pretty amazing and then for my grade threes I run the break ride chat noir because it combos really nicely with the tester fox because that turn you break ride is the turn you probably net the most card advantage assuming you have uh, rear guards to get skill off because when you break ride, um, the break ride skill, you give the rear guard's ability to give something plus four when it attacks the vanguard. Um, and on top of that, the retire draw skill, and they stack, so you can have multiple. And with the crown tiger, you can extend and get extra um, break ride skills off. And that's like another extra card you're drawing and all that pressure because of all the plus four Ks you're giving your field. And... There is kind of a lot of combos going on with the grade 3. Uh, I probably won't go that much into it, but basically when you're in Legion, you're allowed to... Uh, if something's retired and it's a mate of this or the Legion leader, you can basically unflip a damage and then choose... or draw a card and then choose two rear guards from your drop zone. Put them... or not rear guards, just cards in your drop zone and then put them to the bottom of your deck. So basically, the normal thing you probably do is stuff like a trigger and the mate or the other three that you had to the bottom of the deck. Use, uh, preferably the mate though. Um, use the mate skill to counter blast. The same one you just put back and retired to search out itself. So basically, you just drew a card and shoved one back from a drop zone to the deck. If not, you know, you search like a three or something and you pretty much are deck thinning. So it's really nice just to get a deck full of triggers late game, which is kind of what uh, the cross does so well, just having a deck of triggers. Um, and it also helps combo with the, uh, the, sh the stride, the phoenix, because at the end of turn, you're still in legion state because you get out of your stride. So um, rear guards can be retired and you can actually get the skills off like that too, which is uh, really nutty with the mates. If you have a two mates in the front, you can just uh, basically draw two, shove two cards back in the deck and get the two rear guards you just uh, retired for free back to your hand. So <laughs> the the advantage you get is just ridiculous. And then lastly the G zone. I'm running forward with the Phoenix because of all those combos it can do. Basically you do want to be just abusing the uh, retiring of the mate by giving it boost from this unit and just going and making your deck just triggers or whatever you really want in your deck and then the last uh, 4G units I only run two monog armors it's just really there only for the finish it's not there to just try to like pressure with it it's really just for that final turn where you think you can win or or just really need to win it helps because uh, it turns your rear guards into glory maelstrom skills and it the issue the only issue with this is it doesn't retire your rear guards so that makes your uh, your legion skill combo just uh, fizzle because it can't actually go off well, I guess yeah it just doesn't allow it to go off unless you have like a tapir or something or a crown tiger to at least allow you to retire one so it slows down your engine so you don't get the card advantage you normally net so it's usually just there to, for finishing. And then one Blizza, one Atmos on the side. Because you stride a lot in this deck. Blizza can be live. Or just the random Atmos. You never know. You might need it. If not, just throw in maybe a second Blizza. Because you don't need four Monog Armor. And that's basically the entire deck.